probably in about 2010, um, I was running a thing called the Logistics Directors Forum and, uh, with, a, with a guy called Professor Alan Waller. And um, we recognised that leadership was the, the big issue in logistics. You know, how did we get a leadership voice in the boardroom? And he started doing independent research with the University of Cranfield. And, uh, and I felt that um, if we actually sort of looked at this sort of logistics leadership as, a, as, a, as a, a way forward, rather than it being a technical silo within a business. So you always had, say, marketing, finance, logistics. And the logistics people were always the people that were asked to sort out the problems that marketing and finance and merchandising and buying created. And that's how we felt we were treated as an industry. So, so we created the Logistics Leaders Network to try and address this thing, that, that logistics was actually a, a leadership issue within the boardroom of big business. And, um, that, and that's where we started. Um, what we then found was that we, we developed a, what I would call an eclectic mix of, of members because we were running a thing called the Logistics Directors Forum. We had an HR Directors Forum. Um, which we were doing jointly with the Charter Institute of Logistics and Transport. And we had the, um, I'd been secretary of the Transport Association, which was medium-sized hauliers. And what we wanted to do was expand that to not be just limited to 60, but could be 560 or whatever, whatever number, but representing that group. So within three months, we had um, four focus groups. Um, from start, starting from scratch, and um, and and then in 2010, as, as um, sort of thing quirks of fate, I think would happen. We decided to ha launch an annual lunch, and um, we decided to la launch it at Twickenham Rugby Ground. And my brother's a, a local councillor in Richmond, and he said, "Well, I'll get the local MP." And uh, of course, the local MP is Sir Vince Cable and he, he rocked up as the business secretary, um, which just sort of set the scene on the start of these annual lunches. And uh, since then, we've been taking them around the country. Um, we've uh, been to the Na National Space Centre in Leicester when uh, we had our astronaut in space uh, last year. And, uh, and interesting enough, the director of the Space Academy said to me, he said, well, he said, you know, we." What, we're not logistics, you know, we're putting guys in space. You know, you know. And I, so I said to him, I said, well, how did you get the space station into space? And he said, oh, well, we fired about nine rockets from different parts of the globe with bits of it on and we assembled it all in space. So I said, well, I said, you don't see that as logistics. So our, our philosophy is very simple. You know, logistics is everything. So everything that we do, and, and that's what we try to, to sort of um, enhance for younger people coming into the industry in the magazine that we do. So we do an annual publication that showcases all the different aspects of logistics. So for example, when we were doing a, an article on the Shard being built in London, construction people see that as a project. So they see that as project management. But to actually put a, a building of that scale in the tight constraints of the land area that it takes up was a massive logistics problem. And so what, what we're trying to show people is that everything that you do has a logistics element to it. When we were running the Logistics Directors Forum, a lot of the guys who, who, who were coming along uh, as a logistics director of, say, um, Sainsbury's, let's take them as an example, what, the, what they were telling us, or companies like that were telling us, is that they had nowhere where their number twos and threes could go and listen and, and debate strategic issues. They would go to things like, the logistics directors forum and their number twos and threes will be sent off to some tactical thing on customs practice and you know very practical things but they actually wanted their guys who were coming up through the ranks to be exposed to strategic dis discussions um, and that's what we're trying to provide we're trying to have network meetings where senior guys bring their junior guys along we've got about 20 companies who do that or they send them on their own um, and they're exposed to these strategic things and they can talk about them and they can share best, practi best practice with other similar type businesses and similar logisticians. And, um, and, and then they can network with their peers and they can also then be exposed to some of the innovative thinking that they can take back to their bosses and say, yeah, I've just seen this fantastic thing, we, we ought to be thinking about that 
in, in, in this, what, if it's a transport related thing or it might be a warehouse related thing. And, and that, that's, that's what we're trying to do.